trying to kill you with a phone. I never tried to kill you with a phone. And I would never say that you tried to kill me. Yes, you did. I'm sure you that I said cops. that you tried to hit me with the phone. You, the called me, you called the cops and said that my son, he tried to kill me with the phone. He threw the phone at me. He tried to kill me. That's interesting because that's not my recollection of the situation. OK, good, good. That, that's a step. You admit that you don't remember. OK, you don't remember things. She treats me like I am a piece of shit. And it really bugs me because she then she denies it. Right before we got in the plane, you said that if I get mad and if I freak out, you have the flight attendants come and put me in handcuffs and arrest me. And then after I was nicely asking you to turn your music down, you turn it up and up, and then eventually you freaked out right in my arm. And that hurt. And what gives you the right to strike me with your elbow? Dude, the first time you went like that to me, I ignored it and you jabbed me again. I didn't jab you. And I could you. see where it was going and what I said to you, and this was a word of warning. I tapped you, I did not jab you, I you was, jabbed me. I was petrified. And what I said to you is physical acts of aggression get taken very seriously on an airplane. I if you she... begin to get aggressive, they will put handcuffs on you. I was getting your attention, I did this. I was tapping your arm with my elbow, I had and arm, you went like that. I had told you on more than one occasion that I wasn't putting the volume down. Well, you know what? I kept asking because it was driving me crazy. So then you decided to do this, and after the second one, I gave you one back as a way to say, stop it. So and you said your that's enough? Exactly. No, yeah, you got my attention, but I'm not a dog. So why don't you heed my suggestions of stop it when I ask politely? Because you're not the complete boss of me. I control my body, I control what I do, and you don't have the right to hit me that hard. I lightly tapped your arm with my elbow. Wait, stop, let me talk. I lightly tapped your arm with my elbow to get your attention, bam, right in my arm. It actually left a mark for about 20 minutes. About 20 minutes later, it was finally okay, faded. backing up, you said you're not the boss of me. I am the boss of you. When a mother says to be quiet, she's the boss of you, and you need to listen to that. Bottom I line. I never said. When a teacher says something, she's the boss of you, and you Shut need to listen. Shut up! Give me a turn to speak. <sighs> Fine, see? You do that to me. How does it feel? How does it feel to be told to shut up? We've talked about it. Let me speak. How does that do feel? Not. How does that do, feel? Do not put your hands on me. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? No, I asked you a question. You know what? Shut up! Apparently that's the only word that gets your attention. How does that make you feel? I, of course, always knew that there was a, an incredible amount of rage and anger there, but the depths of it surprised me. And of course, when he raised his hand and slapped me across the face, that absolutely surprised me. I did lightly slap her on the cheek to show her how that feels. So I hope that that made her think about what she does. You know what, you be nice to me, I'll be nice to you, but it'll never end if you continue to be mean. I try to apologize saying, you know what, Mom, I should not have said that, and I am sorry, and then you come back with, well, all I'm trying to do is treat you nicely. I'm just trying to be nice to you. That's mean. I just really, really need somewhere to stay other than with my mom. I really need somewhere else to stay. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.